Good morning, my students. How are you today? I miss you all. Last lesson, we talked simple past tense, statement and negative. For example, I went to school last month. If I want to change it into negative form, I thought did not before the verb. Then I changed the verb into the base form of the verb, into the simplest form. So I went to school last month. It will be, I did not go to school last month. Today, inshallah, we will start with questions. Yes, no questions and WH questions. Let's start with yes, no questions in the past simple tense. To create a question that will be answered with a yes or no. So teacher, yes, no questions. To create a question that will be answered with a yes or no. One, start the question with did. Then add a subject, the person, the person, sorry, or thing that does the action, followed by the base form of the verb, and only then add the rest of the sentence. For example, I have here a sentence. She went to work. Form, yes, no question. How? Teacher, add at the beginning of the sentence did. So, with capital letter, please. So, you have to add at the beginning of the sentence the word did. Then you have to put, to put the subject she. Then you have to change the verb into the simplest form, into the base form. So when is an irregular verb. So the base form of went go. Did she go to work? Mm, yes, she did. Or no, she did not. So. Yeah, practice with me, teacher. Let's change sentence number two into negative, into, sorry, into yes, no question. I watched TV yesterday. At the beginning of your sentence, you have to add the word did, capital letter, did then the subject, I, did I watch, sorry, watch TV yesterday. Mm. So, to form yes, no question, you have to add did at the beginning of your sentence, then the subject, then you have to change the verb into its simplest form, uh, into the base form. Uh, you have to remember these verbs, you have to memorize them in your mind. Now, start. Start the question with did then add a subject, the person, or a thing that does the action, followed by the base form of the verb, and only then add the rest of the sentence. At the beginning of your, of your uh, question, we have did, then the subject, I, we, you, they, he, she, et, or, or you can replace she with Selma, um, we, me and my mom, he with Ahmed. You can replace it, teacher. Then the base form of the verb, then the rest of the sentence. For example, did he walk to school yesterday? Yes, he did. No, he did not. If I want to change the subject to pronoun he into she, did she walk to school yesterday? So yes, she did. No, she did not. If I want to change it, teacher, into uh, they. Did they walk to school yesterday? Yes, they did. No, they did not. Did your mother cook three days ago? Yes, she did. No, she did not. So after yes and no, we have comma. Then at the end, we have full stop. Now, 
let's form yes no question with each other yeah at the beginning we have here statements yeah i'm asking you to, to form yes no question selma bought a new car you have to add at the beginning deb capital letter then the subject you have to write it's up to you if you want to write selma or she did selma boat boat is an irregular verb the base form of boat is boy so did selma buy a new car don't forget the question mark so selma bought a new car selma buy a new car so we form yes no question here some first nations people lived in tents if i want to change it into yes no question teacher so at the beginning you have to add did after that you have to write the subject in your sentence some first nation people some some first people live live not left the base form of left left Live. So, some First Nations people lived in tents. Did some First Nations people live in tents? So, here, change the sentences below into questions. Example, he went to the market yesterday. So, you have to add at the beginning that then the subject did he the base form of went go did he go to the market yesterday yeah let's change these two sentences with each other they saw the movie last week so did they see did they and you have to change the verb into its simplest form see did they see the movie last week? Yeah. Anna wrote him a letter. So you have to add at the beginning of your question, did. Then the subject, Anna. Then you have to change the verb um, into its simplest form. Uh, for example, Anna wrote him a letter. Did Anna write him a letter? Understood, teacher? Yeah. So, to create a yes a, a yes no question so you have to start the question with that then add a subject followed by the base form of the verb homework change the following sentences into yes no question in your classwork notebook one so you have to rewrite all the sentences teacher yeah one it rained all night so change it what into yes no question in your classwork notebook we too we sat near the front so you have to change it into yes no question in your classwork notebook we write these two sentences and change them into yes no question now wh questions wh questions teacher is a question that asks about a piece of information so we need to get information. For example, this is John. What did he do last month? Look at the information of the question. What did he do last month? He went to school last month. So because I'm asking about action, idea, or thing, I'm using the WH word what? So what did he do last month? He went to school last month. Where did he go last month? He went to school last month. So 
because I'm asking about place or location. I'm using the WH word were. Why did he go to school? He went to school because he wanted to learn. So look at the information of the question. Because he wanted to learn, because I'm asking about the reason, I'm using the WH word why. What did he do last month? When he went to school last month, he played with his friends. So because I'm asking of, um, because I'm asking about thing, action, or idea, so I'm using the WH word what? So, here, because I'm asking about thing, event, idea, or action, I'm using the WH word what? Because I'm asking about about place, I'm using the WH word where. Because I'm asking about the time, I'm using the WH word when. Because I'm asking about the way or an amount, I'm using the WH word how. Because I'm asking about the reason, I'm using the WH word why. So now, how to create WH question, a WH question. So to create a WH question, start with the word, the WH word, then add it then the subject, a person or thing that does the action followed by the base form of the verb and only then add the rest of the sentence. For we have, for example, here the WH word, what, where, who, when, where, then you have to add that, then the subject, then the base form of the verb, then the complement or the rest of the sentence. Now, with each other teacher, Form WH questions so that the underlying words in the sentences would be the answer. The baby cried because he was hungry. So look at the information of the question. Look at the underlying words in the sentence. Look at the underlying words in the sentence. The underlying words in the sentence because he was hungry. Because he was angry, you have to think of this. So choose the WH word at the beginning. After the WH word, you have to add it. After that, the subject. After the subject, you have to change the verb into a simplest form. So because he was hungry, so I'm asking because I'm asking about reason, about the reason I'm using the WH word. Why? So I write why. After why? Now I'm choosing the WH word. Then I go to the subject. Why? Before the subject, we bought dead. Why did? Then did after did the subject. And then I change the verb into the base form. So after the underlying words in the sentence would be the answer. So why did the baby cry? The baby cried because he was hungry. So teacher, you have to look at the underlying words in the sentence. You have to look at the underlying words in the sentence to choose the WH word. Then you have to add that. After that, the subject, after the subject, you have to change the verb into simplest form. It's so easy, teacher. Let's try another sentence with each other. Look at the underlying words in the sentence. The teacher came to school at half six in the morning so I'm looking at the underlying word in the sentence at half past six in the morning so because I'm asking about the time I'm using the WH word when so so Teacher came to school at half past six in the morning. In the morning, because I'm asking about the time, I'm using the WH word. I'm using, I'm sorry, teacher. The teacher came, it's okay. The teacher came to school at half past six in the morning. So, because I'm asking about the time, I'm using the WH word uh, when. When? 
when after when you have to put that after that the subject after the subject you have to change the verb into uh, the base form the base form of came is come to school so the teacher came to school at half past six in the morning so the underlying words look at the underlying words would be the answer so at half past six in the morning uh, because I'm asking about the time I'm using the WH word when so after when we put that after that we put the subject then you have to change the verb into the past base form base form so when did the teacher came come to school the teacher came to school at half past six here my parents got me a present on my birthday three days ago Look at the underlying word, a present, because I'm asking about a thing. I'm using the WH word, what? So what? After what, you have to add did. Then the subject, what did your, your, it's right to say my parents or your parents. Did your parents get you have to change the verb into the base form the base form of got is get what did your parents get you on your birthday three days ago So, my parents got me a present on my birthday three days ago because I'm asking about a thing, um, I'm using the WH word what. After what, the, uh, what you have to add that, after that the subject, after the subject you have to change the verb into the base form, got is an irregular verb, the base form of got get. So what did your parents get you on your birthday? three days ago, or try to say, what did my parents get me on my birthday three days ago? My parents, my parents got me a present, so on my birthday three days ago. Peter drove an old car to work last year. The underlying word here is an old car. So I'm asking about thing. So I'm using the WH word, what? So what? After what did, after did the subject, what did Peter drive, what did Peter drive to work, drive to work last year? So, Peter drive. Peter dro drove an old car to work last year. So what did Peter drive to work last year? Peter drove an old car. So the underlined word would be the answer. Question number two. Read the sentences and put the correct WH word in the question. Space was in your bag. My book was in my bag. My book, because I'm asking about a thing. I'm using the WH word, what? So again, what was in your bag? My book was in my bag. Two space did you keep your money? I kept it in my packet. So, because I'm out in my packet. So, um, because I'm asking about, I'm asking about a place. I'm using the WH word, where? So where did you keep your money? I kept it in my pocket. Three, space did he sleep last night? He slept late. 
I think at 1 a.m. because I'm asking about the time, I'm using the WH word when. For, did she go to the airport? She went by train. So because I'm asking about the way, so I'm using the WH word how. How did she go to the airport? She went by train. Question number three, choose the correct WH question word for the following answers. When, where, why, or when? Did you go to the mall? I went to the mall yesterday because I'm asking about the time, I'm using the WH word, when. Two, why, how, or when? Did Jack travel to London? He traveled to London by plane. So because I'm asking about the way, I'm using the WH word how. How did Jack travel to London? How? He traveled to London by plane. So three, who were or when did Mary meet her friends? She met them at the park. So because I'm asking about the place, I'm using the WH word were. So where did Mary meet her friends? She met them at the park. For where, how, or when did he reach his office? He reached his office at seven o'clock. Because I'm asking about the time, I'm using the WH word when. Homework in your classwork notebook, form WH questions so that the underlying words in the sentences would be the answer. One, the baby cried because he was hungry. Two, Mrs. Jones traveled on a ship to London. Thank you for watching, teacher. Thanks a lot. Now I would like to remind you that you can find all the answered worksheets on the school's website. Goodbye.